Hey dolls! Okay, so I've got a little phone case review for you, and this one is for a shop that I review all the time that I am absolutely in love with, and that is Share Bear Phone Cases on Etsy. If you want to see all of my other videos or any of my other videos of where I kind of talk about and show the products and talk about the cases and everything, um, you can just search Manda31409 Share Bear Phone Cases on the YouTube search bar or in the YouTube search bar, and all the videos will pop up. I've done several, so you could definitely check those out. But anyway, it is Share Bear Phone Cases, um, and it is Etsy.com shop slash share by phone cases. She is on Twitter at C-C-H-O-B-B-S Sherry and then Instagram at C-C-H-O-B-B-O. She says at the bottom right here it says I can do anything on any case. So no matter what device you have um, she can pretty much do anything you want on if you want you know um, a cowgirl themed case she could probably do a cowgirl themed case if you want my little pony like what I'm gonna show you here she could totally do my little pony um, if you want adventure time she could probably do adventure time if you want uh, makeup she could probably do makeup it just all depends just contact her and ask her about it it is CC Hobbs, so C C H O B B S at live.com. That is her email, so you can contact her there for prices and everything like that. I will post all of this information in the description box below. So if you were confused about anything or if you didn't hear me at a certain part, you can check the description box. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, share bear phone cases on Etsy. I have so many phone cases from her. I love her shop so much. When I had my iPhone 4, I actually had gotten cases from her for a review to start with and then once I upgraded to my iPhone 5 I actually sent her back a couple of my old iPhone 4 cases and she kinda just like revamped them up for my new phone and um, sent me the new cases so I was able to have my old cases with my new phone which was really really cool so again if you have a Samsung Galaxy, if you have an iPhone, if you have an iPod, if you have I don't know maybe even an mp3 player um, depending on what it was or what it is I'm pretty sure she could do it uh, but the two cases I'm going to show you guys today are these two babies right here and I was going to do separate videos on these but I decided to put them both together because I figured one video on one case would be kind of a little short um, and I wanted to see you guys or I wanted to show you guys the different um, comparison versus the bigger ponies versus like the blind bag size ponies of what they would look like on a basic iPhone 5 case. Um, I have an iPhone 5S in case you all were wondering. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these. This case right here is a Fluttershy case. I actually sent her this Fluttershy to make a case out of and I have been wearing this on my phone for a while. I've used this for a little bit um, and you can see that uh, the Fluttershy is turning a little bit it's, just, it's developing a little bit of brown stuff here and there on the actual pony itself, but the case itself is flawless. I love her shop so much because I find that the um, it takes a long time, a long, long, long time for any of the gems or crystals or rhinestones to fall off. I find that they are just stuck on there very, very well. She does make them, most of the time she makes them on a colored case, but sometimes she will do them on clear cases depending on what you want. And it is so cute. I just love this case. I know it is really big and really bulky for some people, but for me, my hand just fits so perfectly right here. I love the placement of all of her cases because it's not awkward to hold in my hand. And with this one I like because I kind of just like when I pick up my phone, like when I set it down, I kind of just pick it up from Fluttershy and then just walk around with it um, just by holding the pony. And the pony is on there. I mean, she's only anchored down, I believe, on uh, her wing um, and her front hoof. I think those are the two spots where she's really anchored down and her ear. So you can see that there is a lot that actually isn't like the back right here actually isn't even anchored, like with glue, it's not glued down, but the pony is on there for dear life. And then I just went through and kind of got a some pink rubber bands and put those on her hair, but her hair is like this, it's just braided, so it's not all frizzy and everywhere. But this one is on a yellow case, and I just can't get over her quality of her cases. They are so amazing, like, 
Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. So this one is a Princess Cadence. Again, I got this Cadence out of a blind bag that I got from Walmart, and I actually sent her the Cadence and asked her if she could make me a phone case out of this, and she said, yeah, of course, no problem. So this is what the case looks like. She made it accordingly to um, Cadence's color scheme. So it is on a purple case. And then the rhinestones are on the side. They are just placed just so well. That is one thing that I will just rave on and on and on about, about um, Share Bear phone cases, is the placement on the sides is just like a machine did it. It's so beautiful. And yes, she does hand make these. She places every rhinestone one at a time. She places every big piece one at a time. She glues them down. She does them herself, and they are so beautiful. This one has the little rainbow pieces, a little butterfly, some roses, a star, a little bow up here. Very, very, very adorable. I just love, love, love how this looks. And this one, you can kind of see the size range. This is the basic My Little Pony that you would get in a, you know, basic one that if you go to Walmart and you go in the kids section, you can kind of see these there. Uh, I will warn you, though, that the Pegasus ponies do have wings so they do not sit flat backed whereas if you were to get a, um, a, a either a unicorn pony or an earth pony which doesn't have the wings uh, it will sit flatter on the phone so if you got like rarity or applejack or even maybe the older twilight the one that's not an alicorn you could probably it would sit flatter so you wouldn't have to worry about that gap as much um, i'm not affected by the gap at all i'm not i don't mind it i love it the bigger the phone case the better because i i like to be a little over dramatic with my cases sometimes and then this is the little cadence she's so cute and this is the basic blind bag size so on an iphone 5s you can kind of just see the size of that on there and you can contact her and talk her through your cases. Um, just talk her through your case. Tell her what you want. Tell her what you don't want. Just, you know, and she'll just kind of walk you through stuff if you want. And it's it's really cool. She'll send. She'll probably send you pictures updating um, the update progress on the case and everything. So, um, again, check out Share Bear Phone Cases. I rave about this shop. This is like my number one bling phone case shop on Etsy ever of all time. So beautiful, so gorgeous, and affordable too. Um, it's about $20, $30 or so, um, depending on how much, how many rhinestones are on there. And when you think about it, um, sometimes she does use real Swarovskis. I think she does recently. And sometimes if you think about it, you know, you look at Lux Addiction and all these other um, sites and stuff that are like 70 80 90 100 dollars for a case so for her i think it's a pretty good deal and the awesome thing is she lives in the same state as me so shipping between the two of us is like a day so it's really really cool but um other than that yeah go check out share bear phone cases the links will be in the description box below for everything and i will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you okay bye